Hey guys, welcome back. This is our third video and for this video we're going to be showing you guys around front campus. It's a beautiful place here at UFT. Um, the front field itself is used by many people to play soccer, frisbee, anything like that. You can come here and chill as well and the whole circle is surrounded by important buildings that we'll show you. Hi Winter students, so right now we're in front of the UTSU building which is your student union and it encompasses all U of T St. George students. So here you will find a lot of services that are covered in your tuition so I would definitely definitely recommend actually using the services here like some of the workshops they have, definitely the printing and copying services and also encompassed with the UTSU is your health and dental plan so if you are covered for a health and dental plan outside or through your parents I would recommend opting out because that saves you money if you don't or if you're an international student I would definitely recommend opt, like staying in the health and dental plan at U of T because it covers cleaning with dental and for health you can use our wonderful and I say wonderful because I use them myself clinics and whatnot on campus. So this is your UTSU. Definitely come here, visit it. They love talking to your students and getting to know and knowing your inputs and whatnot. You can also buy Metro passes here, tokens, and a lot more. Okay, guys, here we are standing outside of the Hart House building. This is a fantastic student center, gothic architecture, really, really awesome. Take a look over here. We have got the Hart House Theater. This is where a lot of excellent student production can go down. There's some steps there. You can go right down into the box office and purchase your tickets. We also have, a, right beside the theater, Sammy's Student Exchange. This is a fantastic student restaurant and bar. Uh, different events happen here at night. You can come through and see it. It's fantastic. It is awesome. And also, right over here are steps leading up to the main desk at Hart House. If you have any questions about what is going on in this building, you want to make sure you go right up there, ask them. They'll also direct you to the gym and to the pool, which is beautiful and amazing. Thank you. Hey guys, so we're sitting right now outside of University College, better known around campus as UC. It's a beautiful building. It used to be a castle. It's nice outside and in. Um, Chances are you will end up having a class or an exam in here, so it's good to familiarize yourself with the building and inside of the building. Um, there's also nice common spaces for you guys to sit and chill. There's a room called the Junior Common Room. It's full with red couches and tables, so you can, you can go there to chill or grab a meal. They also have a coffee shop down there called Diablos, so be sure to check it out. You see. Hey guys, here we are standing outside of the Gerstein Science Information Center. This is a fabulous library to come to and study. There are computer labs, there are study rooms in the basement, even one called Marvin's Room, which is really, really awesome. There's also a place called the Green Beat, so if you're looking for any juices or smoothies, cakes to help you out as you study, you can stop by there. Um, this this library is perfectly placed. It's near Con Hall, it's near the Medside Building, it's near Hart House, and it's near UC. So make sure when you're looking for a study spot, you come here. Gerstein. Hi everyone, right now we're standing outside of Con Hall, also known as Convocation Hall, which is where a lot of you will start and end your university career here at U of T St. George. So, as I said, you will definitely end your career here as this is where everyone convocates and graduates from, but you will also most likely have a couple, at least one class here during your first year at U of T. Some of these classes may include Poli sci, sociology, anthropology, math courses, chemistry courses, and a few others. This hall holds about 1,500 people, which sounds absolutely crazy. And if it's your first day of university and you walk in here and there's 1,500 kids trying to get a seat, it's very overwhelming. But I swear it is not that bad. Con Hall is super huge, and I would recommend trying to sit on the first level. That way you don't get distracted or fall asleep up in the balcony. But um, on my first day of university, I was in here for Hall 101 and there was a thousand kids already inside of there and then a thousand kids trying to get in and it was super hectic. But if you just breathe and get through it, I swear it's not as intimidating as it seems. As I said, a whole bunch of you will most likely have classes in here, but don't worry, just breathe. It's a great place and it's kind of cool to like start your university career at one place and also completely end it here. So this is the lovely Con Hall.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this three-part video series with us. We hope that you learned a lot about campus. We cannot wait to see you in September at Woodsworth College. Thanks, peace out.